Let's get queer queercated. What's up? What's going on? You know it's your girl Ray J coming back at you with a what a next video. It's episode six. This is Let's Get Queer Queercated, where I Ray J educate you about all things queer this month. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Don't forget to smash that subscription button, share, like, comment all of the niceness hit that notification bell so every single time i drop a video you guys will know remember i'll be dropping a video every single day this month exactly at 12 pm so for the next couple of episodes we'll be diving into terminologies that can be found within the lgbt community now today's word is coming out So, basically, coming out of the closet or coming out is a metaphor used to describe LGBT persons' self-disclosure of their sexual orientation, romantic orientation, or gender identity, right? Coming out is a process. Often the first step is coming out to yourself. You have, to, you have to admit that shit to yourself isn't it this is this is this is where you recognize your sexual orientation and begin to accept it begin to be okay with it next you might choose to tell your family friends or you know people within your community or within the lgbt community who you know of or you know comfortable um with because many people assume that everyone they meet is straight coming out is a constant process i mean i don't really see the need to come out because straight people don't come out but i mean i guess it's what it is every time an lgbt person identified meet a new person friends co-worker nurses doctors new name it anything they have to decide whether if when and how they come out the coming out process can be freeing and can bring you closer to the people you love but it can also be stressful and risky or dangerous depending on the situation so you know being in Jamaica um, the mentality that you know most Jamaican parents have and most people have the fear of coming out is is strong it's 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 high the fear of being kicked out abandoned beaten abused um you know just all of that so it can be dangerous especially um with the mindset of jamaican persons right with that being said you don't have to be out everywhere all the time you can decide what's best for you as i said in the previous video not coming out doesn't mean that you're hiding who you are if it's just not the forum for it it's just not the forum for it it is your life straight people don't have to walk and come out why we do too like <laughs> make the connection you know i have some tips for you if you are you know considering to come out all right so tip one be patient with yourself it is not necessary to tell everyone at once. Take your time. Tip two, only come out if you feel safe. If it is not the right time or with the right person, don't. No pressure. Three, don't push yourself. That's it. Don't. Four, start small. It can be easy to start by telling friends and then family and allies you know brothers sisters cousins anybody that you have like that close bond with and you feel like will help you go through it five develop a support network of friends who are accepting and supportive a lot of your friends are supportive whether you know it or not if you tell them you'll realize 
six plan ahead think about where you want to come out and how you want to say it seven be positive when you come out to someone you set the tone you are in control eight find resources or get a mentor to talk to somebody who is in the lgbt community who have been through this nine do not come out in anger or retaliation it not worth it 10 be patient with others some persons stay longer to digest the information than others and that is okay 11 realize that they need time to adjust to this information 12 be firm identify as a lesbian gay bisexual transgender or whatever terminologies you want to use but make it be clear and 13 ask lgbt friends to share their coming out story so you can have an idea how you can come out too 14 refer parents to like pflag or other resources that might help them to understand and be more accepting 15 be prepared for different types of reaction one thing i learned you can never assume how someone will respond for example when i told my mother my expectation was may i get kicked out first of all i didn't tell my mom if you guys uh been on my channel before i have a coming out story on my channel i didn't tell my mom i was kicked out of the closet but before then i thought that i was gonna get kicked out because my mom used to say yo i will pack your bags and bring you to the nearest bus stop if this is the case so i was terrified and when when she found out it was a it was a whole different ball game i can tell you that so don't assume how they react because they might surprise you i'm not saying that is the fact in every situation but my personal experience that that's that was the fact for me <laughs> all right so drop a comment down below if you have any questions if you want to add anything if you want to drop all your coming out stories in the comment section i will read them i'm interested to know how you guys you know came out <laughs> If you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell that's every single time a video drop you guys can know i'll be dropping a video every single day this month because it's prize month <laughs> you know what i'm saying tune in for tomorrow's episode where we'll be diving into a new word